Hey guys, it's Brandy from Eternal Harvest and today I'm going to show you how I did this really quick doggy bed. My cute dog is in love. I used some scraps but you don't have to and it makes a cute addition for your pup. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is measure the bed that you already have. I picked up this little doggy bed at Walgreens for about $7, and I wanted it to look a little nicer and fit in with my decor. Measure the bed, the width, the depth, the height, and then usually on the tag on the back, it will say the measurements as well. Then you're gonna also need some two by fours. I had some scraps lying around. I think one plank would be plenty, depending on the size of the bed you're making. And then I also used some one by twos and some trim that I had lying around molding. Now to bring a little elegance to this build, I also bought some six inch um, legs from Home Depot and then some black paint. The first thing I did was take some strand board and cut it down to size. This will be the base of the bed and I'm gonna lay my two by fours on top of this. So you wanna add three inches to your depth and your width for the bed. Then I just used my Craig jig to pocket hole the pieces together and create a frame. I glued and screwed that together. I like to use tight bond and this is tight bond two to glue everything together. If you don't have a pocket hole jig, you can just screw these together normally. Then I flipped it over and glued and nailed the bottom to the frame. Once that was there, I did a dry fit, and now I'm gonna do my molding pieces across the front. This is just to add a little decorative touch. I cut some 45s out of my one by twos and laid them across the front at an angle, and I glued and nailed those into place here. Okay, now here are the legs I picked up at Home Depot. Each one's about $3, and then the attachments were $3 got those all out, sanded everything down. I did attach some decorative trim that I had laying around just to make it look a little pretty on the sides before adding the legs. I cut those out of 45 around the corner. And now I can drill these little leg attachments here and screw in the legs. So the legs will be removable in case we travel or need to take the bed with us somewhere. That's something I really wanted to incorporate and these legs were perfect. Here it is, all done and ready for paint. Now normally I use a little bullseye primer, but I didn't have any on hand and I was in a hurry for this project, so I decided to go straight with this Rust-Oleum paint. And guys, it did a great job. It covered and primed and did everything it needed to do. And my dog immediately jumped in his bed. He loved it. So that's it. This quick and easy dog bed is all done. He uses it every day and loves it. You can obviously change the bedding and the size depending on what your dog's needs are. And don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys, for more videos just like this. Give me a little thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much.